Hey guys, Havasu Lou out in beautiful Lake Havasu. Hey, we're out here checking out this brand new double RV garage pool home for a client on the lake side of the highway. Hang out with us and check it out too, and I'll talk to you in a minute. All right, guys, we're out here at 1655 Linda Drive. This is just getting wrapped up, does not have certificate of occupancy quite yet, but they're just putting the finishing touches on it. Nice south side, uh, north side, lake side of the highway location right down the street to Windsor Launch Ramp. Real nice uh, custom home, nice garage doors. They do the paver drive. It will be landscaped in the front. tile on the walls here cool little front courtyard with a lake view here's your lake shot off of the entry here all right let's go check it out nice eight foot entry door all right so this is a three bedroom four bath pool home Obviously just built, not quite complete. 2,171 square feet. Sits on a bigger 11,238 square foot lot. Double slider out to the backyard pool area. All eight foot interior doors, can lights everywhere. Real nice uh, marble tile, or I'm not really even sure what kind of uh, tile this is, but it is very pretty. Nice wide open living. So this does have two master suites, has a junior master suite at the front of the house. Real nice quartz topped island, under cabinet lighting. Can lights, of course. So you have a walk-in pantry. Big double door stainless fridge. Big window out to the pool area. All the cabinets are upgraded with the soft touch clothes. So you have the main master at the rear of the house. All same, real nice tile floors. Looks like there's gonna be a couple sconces in here where the blue tape is. So you have an eight foot barn door opening to the master bath. Very nice dual sinks, quartz waterfall edges, backlit mirror, tall ceilings, can lights. Under lighting. Full wall tile all the way to the ceiling with a soaker tub. You have a big walk-in closet. You have a glass door shower with dual heads, including a rain head. All right, let's go take a look at the other side of the house. Also, there's a double slider in the master out to the pool area. That's pretty cool. So you have a guest bath on the other side of the house. Kind of behind the kitchen. Nice quartz tops, same backlit mirror, tall ceilings. Tile shower all the way up to the ceiling with a glass door. There's a little storage area in the back, which is kind of cool. So you have guest bedroom number two at the front of the house. 
Same setup, tall ceilings, eight foot doors, tall windows, all troweled down, four foot uh, or four inch baseboards throughout. All right, so you have bedroom number three, which is the junior master suite, also at the front of the house. So here's your little junior master suite bath, quartz tops, same backlit type mirror, tall ceilings, tile all the way up to the ceiling, glass door, walk-in shower. All right, let's go check out the garage and the pool. So you have your indoor laundry off of the entrance, quartz tops, real nice setup, washer and dryer would go right there. Nice utility sink and garage access. All right guys, so you have a real nice garage setup. You have a two car side that's 25 and a half feet deep with a nine foot door, 19 and a half feet wide at the door opening. Both have the My, uh, MyQ Wi-Fi, you know, the lift masters, they're insulated doors. So you have a huge 76 foot deep RV garage. It's a double wide RV garage. It's 23 feet wide at the door, 14 foot door. Looks like it's pre-wired for three mini spill units, full hookups, including a dump and 50 amp. You have a roll up door in the rear. It also has a lift master. Usually they don't put uh, openers on the rear doors. So you have this cool little bonus room, like pool room behind the garage, it has its own little mini split AC unit, glass roll up door back to the uh, pool area. Same cool tile floors, can lights. Even has a little bathroom, same quartz tops, backlit mirror, tall ceilings, and your full tiled shower all the way to the ceiling. Also has a little closet. All right guys, we're out the double slider off the living room onto the back patio. Can lights everywhere, ceiling fans. Looks like it's pre-wired for speakers. Obviously they're still working on it, but the pool is done for the most part. It's full of water anyway, real nice. Pebble Tech finish, big, huge spa. Baja shelf. Super beautiful. Looks like they're going to have a couple real nice waterfall features in the back here. We're also going to have the water features with the little shooting water jets coming out. We have a couple more over here. So it's gonna be pretty cool when it's all running. So they usually finish their pools off with like gray pavers. So it'll look really, really nice and pop against this white for sure. A little cascading off the edge. You have your little side patio over here with your uh, master suite and the little bonus room off the garage. So it is in fact pre-plumbed for mini split units with the uh, junction boxes, the runs and everything's all ready to go. Using propane for the heater, and all your pool equipment. Looks like they got a lot of automation going on. Got a little outdoor shower out here. It'll be really, really nice when it's all done. Hey guys, Abbasi Lou back again with you. Hope you enjoyed the quick little video walk through the house over here on Linda. Again, this one is just about complete. Just waiting for the certificate of occupancy and to finish up some uh, last little details. Again, this one was uh, just listed for 1.2999 
I'll put a direct link to the listing detail page right below this video so you guys can get all the original listing pictures, current price, and availability. Of course, if you guys have any questions at all, always feel free to reach out to me. All my contact information is right below this video. You guys have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon.